So the idea for building the National Museum has existed for years and years, really starting in 1814 with the idea that Congress called for the service departments to maintain their flags and their precious artifacts. So developing an exhibit like this uh, requires a lot of historic research, of photographs, what type of barbed wire to use, or what type of fence posts to use. All these details need to be correct and accurate in order to give the visitor a more interactive experience. When the visitor walks through, uh, they feel like as if they're coming, they're walking through the battlefield. So the visitor experiences some very unique aspects of the architecture of the facility itself. On the outside, you'll see the stainless steel. That represents the strength of the Army. You see the tower with the sixth floor with a, an illuminated lantern representing a beacon of safety and security. As you enter the lobby, you continue to, to march in with the soldiers through the pylons. We have illuminated, beautiful illuminated campaign streamers above. We have a colored Army emblem, 22 feet in diameter in the center of the lobby floor. And then as you take in the lobby and you learn about the, the campaigns and the battles associated with those that the Army has fought in, you start to notice that there's, there's points to different areas of the museum. So these transition points, beautiful illuminated wood and light tells you that you're going into a different part of the museum. Another unique component of the museum is the Experiential Learning Center. Here is where educators provide different types of G-STEM activities for, for children and, and adults of all ages to engage with. Uh, so you can learn how to build a bridge or uh, look at the, the medical advancement that the Army has, has done over, over, over time. And it gives more education-focused way of teaching the history and heritage of the Army. But this is a home for our soldiers. This is a gathering place. This is a place for soldiers, past and present, veterans, to bring their families, to bring their friends, to be able to showcase where they served and what they did, and be able to tell that story. To be able to be part of telling the Army's story is a tremendous honor for me. To be part of that, for someone to learn about something that they didn't learn about before, and recognize the role the Army has played in our history, uh, is truly amazing. We have no place that tells the comprehensive story of the American soldier. We tell it through the eyes and voices of our soldiers of all eras, and we tell it from the very beginning of the early militia to current days as we open this museum, that we become such a touch point, such an asset for the Army to use in our relationship with American society.